Hey guys, this is Graham. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a blog. A blog can be very useful, especially if you have a small business. Since you'll constantly be creating new content for your site, it can help to increase traffic and improve your site engine optimization. You can create a blog right within the editor by going to Add Page, Add Blog. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit this button here to create a blog entry. So now you can create an entire blog post. You can customize the font and the size of the title. Uh, let's try this font out here. Now by default, the color of the title will match the template that you started with, but you can change that right here. So here you can input all of your blog content. You can add media such as image or video, and I'll just input an image. So you can upload your own images from your computer, but I'm just going to use a stock image here. Okay, so under width and height, you can input the dimensions that you want your image to be. and I'll just type in some content. So in the tag section, you can input a word or phrase that relates to your post, and this will help to categorize them. Now here's my post. We don't need this content header space, so we'll just get rid of that, and make sure the grids on and then click and drag the arrow here. I also want to move this footer text to my footer area, so I'll just click and drag on it to reposition it. So now we can play around with the settings of my blog. Since I've only created one post so far, we only see one entry on the page. But once I've created more posts, this is where I can choose how many posts will be shown. Now you can choose whether you want to allow users to comment on your blog posts, which you can adjust right here. If you've allowed comments, you have the choice whether you want to manually or automatically approve the comments. If you choose automatic, any comments that your readers make will be posted right away. But if you choose to manually approve comments, that would mean you must read and approve every comment before it gets posted, which we'll show you how to do in our next video you might want to manually approve the comments just to prevent spammers from leaving multiple comments on your blog. Now, the time zone and locale have to do with the timestamp when you create a new blog entry. So when we hit done, here is the timestamp. So if we want to go back and edit the post, you can do that just by clicking on edit. You can also play around with these other editing options. You'll notice that there's also an option to take the post offline. So if you hover over the post, right now the switch says online. If you click it once, it'll go offline. And the post is translucent right now just to remind you that even if you publish the page, your visitor still won't be able to see the post. So that's it. A blog can be a great way to drive traffic to your website and create a loyal following of readers. In our next video, we're going to show you how to adjust some of your other blog settings. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.